Welcome to 1111 Tarot. I'm on TD. And today we're going to do Capricorn. All right, guys, how are my Capricorns doing? Let's check some energy. I've been starting all this month's reads off with Whispers of Love Tarot. Aren't they beautiful? I just thought we need, you know, we all need hugs. There's so much hostility in the world right now. So let's start off our day with just some little love. See how we, how our day is going, how our week is going, how our month is going to go, what's coming at us, what we need to know, where we are in our cycles and our life, all the good details. All right. And here we go. These are really big cards. Yeah, I never really turned them. I could try this way. Oh, yeah. It works too. Doesn't hurt my hand. <laughs> Not always the smartest uh, tack in the pack. Okay, my energy is off. Let's just stop for a minute. Capricorns, what in the world is going on? I feel like you're about to have a huge change. Like, as I was shuffling the cards, I felt like this energy rushing in at me. Whew, like it overwhelmed me. Okay, let's try this again. I don't like to edit. I know, I'm going the big way with the shuffle. That's okay. That's what I'm being guided. That's what we're going to do. Okay, let's try to get this a little bit under control. Like I said, it was big. Express love through gifts. A small token of love can convey great appreciation. It's in 19, which is, is a, basically a one for the root number. So it's the beginning. It's like something's... Something's starting, almost starting. That's beautiful. Like there's a pearl. There's this huge pearl of wisdom by this young divine masculine to like the queen of the sea. Express love through gifts. A small token of love can convey great appreciation. Let's see what else we have. Miracles and blessing. Everything has its gift. A 13, which is foundational for the number four. So this has something to do with the new beginning with your foundation and a gift. I think that's what I felt. Like this huge feeling... This is almost like, I feel like she's harvesting. Okay. Be grateful for what we have right now. It's quite amazing. Okay, romance. Lavish the one you love with personal attention and affection lavish romance Whew. 25 which is a 7 hmm abundance so you have abundance you have a new beginning and something that is foundationally ready for harvest like you planted this wisdom seed and it's very near time to pick it and I feel like I feel like you're about ready to just be like I don't know I don't know I feel like you might not see this opportunity for what it really is like you've been put through the ringer a little bit and um, you're like it'll be a miracle or a blessing if this works Everything has its gift. Okay. Gracious Capricorn. I'm saying this might be a little bit of a longer read. Um, 
I have been feeling something for Capricorn coming in in a much bigger way than they expected. Now we just got to understand what is going on. Fate. Can't make it up. Right there it is, lovelies. Brand new beginning. It's this foundation too. This is this is going to be huge. This is this is divinely offered. Where where where? Kind of. It's very hard depending on the day <laughs> or where I've moved things. Let me see if I can get it to work. For a split second it flashed. Now it's got me stuck. Like I don't want to leave it to where you can't see it. It's good as it gets. So that is an egg that is sitting on this pillow. And whenever I see this fate egg, I, I go back to Mary Magdalene. I've spoken of this before. Tiberius Caesar is up there in, um, on the island of Capri or something like that in the Mediterranean Sea. It's right after he's ordered Jesus' death. And Mary Magdalene walks in with her hand like this, according to the folklore. And in it, she has this egg standing up. And she says, he has risen, and it turns bright red. That's according to folklore. There's thousands of paintings that date back to just old, old, old years that, that depict this same picture over and over. So whenever I see this fake card... feel it really strong that there is something divinely like yeah no doubt this is divinely guided something is meant to happen like it will happen okay so what do we got here let's see if we have anything else with the fake card what is faded please share please share Show Capricorns what's coming at us. It's big, you guys. That clacked so loud it hurt my ears. Again. All right, you're facing something. You're like, this is just getting nuts. I can't do this. But you're being asked to take this risk. The divine wants us to take a risk. This is incredible. This risk, it's going to seem like it's its a huge amount of work. You have invested so much time. Look at this mountain that, that you're climbing. Oh, my golly. It's just, look at. <laughs> but you're the mountain goat. You're the adventurer. And it's time to take a risk. You have a choice. You can take what's comfortable. And you can live it out, or you can choose to grow and take a risk. Oh, the void is just, it is, I'm shaking with this because um, I'm feeling the information come in very strongly. The void is your comfort zone. No change. Just what you know that worked before will work again. It boxes you in. Everything has a compartment. Everything's organized. No worries. Just calmly go through life and, and it's like da 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 Or <clears throat> you take a risk. Get out of your comfort zone. Get out of your comfort zone. Whew. All right. Anything else? Nothing. All righty. We got everything out of this message. Let's jump over to Moonology. Okay, Capricorns, you are being asked to take a risk. Okay, let's go for this. This is going to be a confusing read. I can already feel it. <clears throat> You're going to have to do the discerning because, uh huh. 
I can feel the energy. It's like dual. There's dual energy. And I'm right because we've got the eclipse and we have the full moon. Okay, you're going to win either way. My nose is itching, so spirits here, Sherry. Okay, a win-win outcome is forecast. Full moon in Libra. Justice will be served. You get justice either way. A new start is coming. New moon. You have some decisions coming your way. Hoo, hoo, hoo. Let's go ahead and let's grab a couple of these. Um, these are exquisite. They are the celebration of love. And they've got a really nice, deep blue background, which is a loving feeling. It's a good color for love. A lot of uh, rainbow. And the lovers entwined with their root chakras all the way up with the bird of hope. Just beautiful. All right, here we go. Capricorns. Oh, that was decent. I love it. Okay, wow, wow, look at the energy. Okay, didn't even make it through that shake. I don't even know where to start, right? Start at the beginning. Okay. Gotcha. <laughs> Truth. Coming to Earth. Truth. I've, I've got this image. Oh, wow. Squirrel. Nut being cracked. The truth coming out. I even sounded like a squirrel when I was trying to say it. You're going to be going deep inside yourself because you're, you've got two situations, equally good opportunities. One will bring you exponential growth, where it will be an adventure. And one could be the mundane. Awareness. Angel whispers. Look at the birds. Awareness. Going deep within. Because this is your angel talking to you. Saying, you know, you know intuitively which way it is. Follow your heart. Follow your heart. A lot of people say, well, you're going to have to make a head over heart decision. I don't feel that way here. This is take a risk. It's not what's logical. It's what you truly feel. And that's where you're going to have to get to know yourself. Life force, beginning. See that seed we talked about in the beginning that you planted? You've nurtured something. You've nurtured something very well. Two somethings. Maybe three. You've got beginnings. <sighs> Joy. Reflections in consciousness. Being awake. Understanding what it is that you're here for. Where do you find joy? Where do you find truth? Anything else from this deck? Prosperity. Atlantean Priestess. Now that's exquisite. I think when you think of prosperity, I think it's about this growth. It's, um, you're going to see, like, awareness of the void. Void of joy. See? Um, when you look at take a risk, it's, it's right in the middle. So you have fate over here. You have truth, life force, prosperity. And what's the moon card under it? A winning outcome is forecast full moon in Libra. Let's see where this goes, folks. Let's see where this goes. Okay, where are we? Let's jump into the good tarot. I'll grab a little bit of that. And I think what we'll do is we'll leave that sit there. I've tried to make a little bit more room for us. So we're going to do this on a sideways sideways spread. 
hopefully you'll be able to see it. Oh boy, Capricorn 2020, what you got me? Are you serious? Oh, told you I felt some huge energy coming towards me. I didn't even see him flip. We'll put him back in the deck. And we'll see if these come back out. This is your ten of water, which is your everything. Every wish you've ever dreamed of. And, of course, this divine timing with patience. Um... Which can be challenging. That's why it's a 14, which is a 5. So you're halfway there to where you want to be. I don't know what that means, but I'm just saying. You got the 10 and you got the 5. So you're right in the middle. I think you're at a fork in the road. I think you're coming to a very good fork in the road. Yeah, justice is coming through. Remember that justice we had with the um, truth? And the awareness, the joy, the life force, prosperity, justice, 11, right in the center of your spread. Look at that. Justice. We're going to put it right here under um, prosperity. Crossing it is five of earth. Balance, because a lot of people judge this differently. I go intuitively. When I look at this card, it's like two children that are enwrapped in a world of nature that they melt into one. It's a very hard visual to see. But if you look, it looks like just a child with bulky clothes on but if you look twice it's actually someone is in his arms resting that's gorgeous so this to me speaks of this youthful nature life force Who makes you feel what? Who makes you feel what? I keep hearing that. Who makes you feel what? In the past, we have the moon card, which speaks to illusion due to confusion, um, things being masked, not always being clear. But now this moon is full. And um, I think it's... I think the wish cup is about to get full, like your cup is about to overflow. Five of water. This is your forward motion. It's self-reflection. Because you have got to figure this out. Like this is this is something you feel like you you've wow, I can't explain it. Let's get a clarification on that five of water. Ace of fire. Okay. Let's get one more because there's dual energy. Ace of fire and there's definitely dual energy with this five of water. Yeah, ace of fire and page of fire. Whoa. An opportunity and a message. Both of fire. And that's what has you in this perplexed position coming very quickly. Is this equal opportunity. They are both have... Uh, oh, that's what that means. Everything has its gift, miracles, and blessings. One's a miracle, one's a blessing. But you get to pick, do you want the miracle? Or do you want the blessing? Because you deserve it. And it's you got to figure out justice as you get to pick. I feel like... Okay, below us pushing this whole thing forward. You're manifesting this with the divine. It's your time to shine, yeah. This is powerful. This is fate. This is going to change your life. 
Capricorns, this is a huge reading for you. I hope. Oh, I hope you're getting to see this. If it's meant for you, you will. If it's meant for you, you will. Let's see what's crowning this spread with prosperity. True love. Can't even make it up. Hmm. That's something to think on. What if you manifested two people and you're trying to decide between two? You have this two water. Might be career or person. I don't know. It's It could be you're getting both. Maybe you can do both, you know? Let's go ahead and get your overall status right now, like your energy. Come on, Capricorn. Share your energy. Oh, wow. Strength. We got two and healing beautiful cards the strength is protection allowing you to really look this over um angel guidance there and you're taming a beast you're taming a lion working with divine you're taming the beast within healing Divine healing and a wish come true. Wow. That's incredible. So you have an eight because this is a 17. That's an eight root. With an eight, and they're both major arcana. Look at this Capricorn. Come on, Cappies, check it out. 88. Look your, look your number up. That's right now where you are. The divine is is healing you. The divine is working with you so that you can hear. All right, now we're going into the environment around you. What's coming at you? What is coming at my cappies? Who's coming at my Capricorn? Wish fulfillment, or at least wishes made. Holy crap. <laughs> I told you you were going to have a heck of a week, heck of a month here. So you have made wishes. And you're the magician. Do you see this? Your environment. You're a magician and you made your wishes. Well, let's see. You have three of them. This is what's coming. Love. Again, the lion and the woman. Somehow you tamed a beast. I think it's your inner beast. And I think you've learned to love yourself. Even the scary parts. I think you are starting to feel the worth. And I think somebody sees your value and you're being recognized. And I don't think you know it. I don't think you realize it because it's right here by the moon card. cooperation somebody willing to put in the teamwork wanting to celebrate I see Pisces energy again they have a lot of wisdom they've gained a lot of wisdom over time they're also wanting um, they're wanting to kind of share how they feel about this love for you And the third wish <laughs> is the chariot, which is pretty dang quick. And it's the yin and the yang. It's, it's the, you know, it's the balance. There'll be balance. This is beautiful. Chariot, love, strength, the star. Two of Water, The Magician, Justice, starting your spread off. Oh my gosh! I was gonna, I was gonna do your hopes and dreams and fears. So you got the call. You're hoping for the call, or you fear the call. Your way to look at it, and then you have the Four Fire Alignment. 
This often speaks of reunion, which could be a fear of yours, but it's on the table. It's on the table. And it's beautiful. I mean, <laughs> you get the, I call it the four loving card, you know, the, um, and then like 411 is information. <laughs> so then I look up and you've got the call. You're like, who, who is this coming at me, please? Hello, 411. Who's coming at me, please? Whoever's coming at you, it's true love. What they offer is real. Let's get some outcome cards. Oh, my golly. Okay, jumpers everywhere. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Let me fetch it. He jumped. I say he. I feel it's a divine masculine. Just making sure we didn't miss something in the pack. Okay. This is the outcome of this beautiful spread. <laughs> I mean, really, we're going to dig into who this is, but let's go ahead and check it out. We'll do that over in the extended when it's time. Messenger of Fire. I feel Sagittarian every time I see this card. Can't tell you why. Maybe it's a fire sign. Just uh, It could be anybody. Very passionate message coming in. We're going to put that right over here. I feel like that's where it goes. Oof. Third party. Broken heart. Somebody may be coming clean about having a third party. Or you might be starting something with someone. And you could be like, well, they're in and out. And then somebody else comes in and you're like, oh boy. Queen of water. Well, we got to check this out. <laughs> we got to find out what this three of air is. And we'll do that over in the extended. Let's go ahead and um, we'll do one more little card here. We're going to use this little mini tarot deck which is called Mini Secret Tarot. It's just precious. Really easy to use. Most of the cards flip for me. What do I got? Knight of Wands coming in as well. Knight of Wands with, and the Queen of Water. Yeah. Let's get a couple blessing cards on this. We're going to head over to the extended if you want to join me there. We're going to figure out who is this offering this Two of Water. And uh, more about this Queen of Water. Now, Capricorn, I don't see your Queen of Pentacles anywhere on the board right now. So that's another thing I want to find out is what is your energy in all of this? Because I see justice. I see so many major arcana in this spread. Like you've got the call. Like I said, you've got the 411. You've got the chariot. You've got the love. You've got nine of water, strength, star, magician. All these pages and aces with justice. Queen of water and this little knight of wands in and out. What? Yeah, we're going to be digging into this. I sense there's two energies coming at you. One, we're not seeing. I think that's what's behind the moon. And we're going to check that out. All right. Blessings here for my Capricorn. Blessings for Capricorn in November 2020. Anything to share? Well, almost came out. They're like, oh, the blessings are coming. you got to be patient. Oh, yeah, look at that. Oh, yeah, they are coming because uh, I can see movement, the river, right on top. Oh, look, sanctuary. Yeah, you might be in a little bit of the hermit mode pulling back right now just because of the sense of confusion that I feel. And you can feel something coming towards you. You just don't know what it is. And that's that movement. Sanctuary being in your home, in your heart. Feeling that heart chakra. Feeling movement in the heart chakra. And bam, the heart chakra opens and you have rebirth. Something's going to make your heart go boom, boom, boom for sure. Ebb and flow. It's going to feel natural. It's not going to be hard in the long run. It's going to be hell on wheels to get there. I can feel that. You just have to emerge yourself with the divine and trust. This is all about faith. It's all about miracles. It's all about blessings. And it's the real deal. Purification has to happen. 
Um, somebody's numbing, and I feel like they need to um, take a break off of numbing. You both might be numbing. I'd say cleanse water. Let some uh, ancient shaman, ancient healing wisdom come in there with that purification, emergence, ebb and flow, rebirth, movement, sanctuary. And then just breathe and let it happen. Exquisite read. Um, we're going to pull all these energies off here. Beautiful blessings, by the way. We're going to pull these off. I'm going to keep this Knight of Wands, this Queen of Water. What else do you guys feel? We should keep this Moon card. I want to see what's behind it. And the rest. Well, yeah. Let's take that over. Yeah, because I know you're the magician. I said musician. Maybe you are a musician or you just love music. Um, I meant magician. We'll, we'll wait on that. I know that's your energy. So I will meet you over in the extended and we will check this out right here. And for the rest of you, if this is where you leave me, I want to say thank you so much for all the amazing support. Our channel is growing quite nicely. Um, our community is getting stronger too. We have a great soul tribe here. I like to say spirit tribe because I feel like it's more about um, unity than unit. Like soul to me sounds like, you know, I'm in my box, you're in your box and so forth. But when I think of spirit, it's like we commingle our energies. And to me, that's what I feel we are. It's like more of a spirit tribe. Um, not a unit, but more in unity. Because we ask why, right? Yeah. All right, my lovelies. If this is where you leave me, much love, much light, and namaste. And if you're going to stay with me, you can go right down here at the very bottom. Am I doing it right? I don't ever. I don't know how to do this. <laughs> down below. And uh, the extended is listed. I've got them listed for like, uh, I don't know, like $2 or something. I just want you to have them, but uh, it does help cover my time. So with that, I'll see you over there. Thank you.